in the name of Allah, the most gracious, the most merciful, to whom we all have to turn back. Honorable listeners and respectable audience, you know that we have started a series of linguistics. In linguistics, we commenced different chapters and we covered by the grace of Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala 11 chapters. For example, first of all, I told you about the history of language, the history of writing, the properties of human and animal languages. What is politics and phonology, branches of phonologies, words in word formation processes, syntax, structural relations, semantics, and some other chapters as well. So, some of the students, they asked that how we would know the previous discussed topic in detail. Lessons and ideas, as I told you, we presented 11 chapters and almost 127 lectures. So, if you want to listen them again in detail with examples, you may go to my YouTube channel, Neep Muhammad Alamgir, and also go to the playlists. There are 11 playlists where you will find 11 chapters. And each and every chapter has almost 10 or 11 videos and lectures. So, when you are clicking each and every chapter, there will be different lectures according to the chapter. So, these lectures will master your language, your pronunciations and your skills, particularly your linguistics and branch of linguistics. However, I am going to uh, discuss today's topic. I told you that the new chapter which we commenced that is uh, semantics and that is the study of meaning, that how meaning is constructed, communicated and interpret. Then in semantics I told you about lexical relations. Lexical relations I discussed almost five topics like I told you about synonyms, antonyms, haponyms and also prototypes. And one is lexical relations itself the definition. Today I am going to further extend the topic in lexical relations and that is the difference between homophones and homonyms. Listeners and ideas, whenever we are talking about the difference between homophones and homonyms and their easily understanding, so this is important that we must know the derivation of these two words. Actually, homophone, Homo mean it is derived from the Greek word homo mean same or like alike and pon mean sounds. Okay, so homophone is the combination of two words homo mean same and pon mean sounds. Now, what is the definition of homophones? Homophones are those words which are having the same pronunciations but different and spellings and meanings. So, I am repeating words with the same pronunciation but different and meanings and spellings. Such words are described as homophone. For example, we have the word right. And we also have another word, right. You see, these words, they are identical. They are similar with the same spellings. The same, sorry, with the same uh, pronunciation, but different and meanings. Yes, but they are different and meanings. They are similar with pronunciation, but they are different and meanings. Okay. Another word, for example, we have two, and we also have two. You see, these two words, they are similar in pronunciation, but different in spellings and also in meanings. 
another word for example if i say tail and another word is tail so now you know the different uh, meanings of these two words they are similar in pronunciation but different in meanings and also in spellings now what about homonyms homonyms homo is also mean same and nims mean names homo means same and nims mean names now what is the definition of homonyms words with the same pronunciation with the same spellings but different uh, but different in meanings they are called homonyms i am repeating homonyms are, are those words which have the same pronunciation the same spellings but different in meanings such words are described as homonyms but remember that homonyms they are also called homograph they are also called sorry homograph now what would be the examples of homonyms for example we have bank and we also have bank okay we have bait and we also have bait we also have face we also have face we also have uh, for example race and we also have race now see the difference oh i forgot okay so see bank and bank so now this bank refers to uh the side of the river this the sea shore while this may refer refers to the money institution on the other hand bait refers to a living creature while this bait refers to a a sport tool it means it is a kind of a uh, tool which the people particularly the players they used to play cricket with the help of the bait so it is used in sport yes in sports and then we have for example race so here race refers to a contest and there this race refer to an ethnic group same is the case face refer to human face while another face refer to uh facing a problem for example we say you are facing a problem hardships etc another example for example we have pupil and we also have pupil so one pupil refers to a student uh, at a school while another pupil refers to a part in the human eyes okay then we have another word for example we have uh, mall so one mall refers to the small holes in human skin and another mall refers to an animal so listeners and audience there are so many other examples i have presented some of them for clarification hope that this topic they are clear to you thank you